hello everyone so today in this session we are going to discuss some important points for uh, class 11 not 11 class 10th and 12th students especially those who are going to write cbc term to examination in this in this session 2022 so here i want to show you the answer sheet how is the cbc answer sheet uh, means what are the places that you have to fill in cbc examination answer sheet and I will be showing you the question paper pattern and the sample question paper. So exactly the same pattern answer sheet may be coming in your examination that you have to the areas that you have to fill and some important guidelines what a children should carry to examination hall the entire timing and uh, regarding that center so many friends they asked me about center change and so many friends they asked me about uh, scribe means uh, some uh, special cases in CBSE term to examination so entire topic entire detail will be discussing one by one so before that let me show you uh, how will be your answer sheet so this answer sheet is for class 12 students you can see my answer sheet here i'm writing here on the monitor and you can see here so uh, listen to me uh, for class 10th and 12th two types of answer paper will be there one is for all the subject and one special paper is for mathematics which is with graph paper you can see here with graph paper so this paper is with graph paper here 48 pages will be there and this is the front page where OMR will be there you can see you have to write subject here you have to write your subject code here date of the examination medium of question paper and here that code question paper code number that I will be showing you what is the question paper code number and some serial number will be there one two three four that you have to write okay besides that you can see and there are some places whether it is a disabled benchmark is there and disability admit card everything is written means you can see what are the places you will be writing here whether writer scribe is provided or not visually impaired as i here the number of additional used also one place is there now the number of supplement means additional used whether you are using one or you are using two like this it will be written here so i hope you got clear idea now of course here one uh, answers is serial number will be there so that i have hidden that you have to see your answer sheet paper and this is what your name will be written in capital letter and this omr you have to bubble here similarly here here roll number will be here so you have to write the roll number and you have to bubble here this is your answer sheet and your subject code here and your center number here and you have to uh, bubble the OMR and after that you have to write your roll number in the words father or guardian name and signature of the candidate so these are the place you have to fill in your main sheet and here some code number will be there that is CBC official use for your evaluation purpose some secret code will be there that we'll be using and this is the place for signature of the invigilator and here center superintendent signature will be there so this is what uh, your paper uh, what uh, in class 12th mathematics paper means with graph and I am going to show you inside also yes this is this is what here inside some instruction will be written inside the paper inside the OMR sheet these are the some instruction both uh, Hindi and English language it is written and this is green paper so this is your front size so this side this is this not uh, you, you should not write anything here only that OMR you have to fill and this is for class 12th other than mathematics means without graph paper means in uh, the, uh, the answer paper uh, with graph which is coming it will be containing 48 pages and the paper which is uh, coming without uh, graph that is 32 pages so you should remember here also the detail you have to write the same thing okay when you open the paper that I want to show you okay so the paper will be uh, coming like this actually here the seal will be there here seal will be there and you have to open the seal and you can see here that seal is mentioned here so you can see so just one minute yeah so here seal will be there so that seal you have to open like this then one by one page will come you have to write so this is your answer sheet main sheet actually this is for class 12th uh, this is supplementary for class 10th 
here also one serial number will be there you have to write your roll number and uh, signature something and uh, yeah so this is the area that you have to write yes this is for class 10th and the same thing subject subject code date of examination and your name will be there in capital letter and you have to bubble with what uh, omr and remaining all the things are same you can see you can pause the video and you can see all detail clearly because you will get a clear idea here also the things are same okay here also two types of paper will be getting with graph and without graph yeah so this paper is uh, with graph this is what with graph paper and uh, the next one will be without graph paper and here your color is red color class 10th paper is red color class 12th is blue and mathematics for green so these are the paper size you got a clear idea this is red paper red color class 10th paper will be in red color then the omr is what orange color And this is also red color and omr is orange color this is for class 10th and 12th different uh, paper i already showed you and uh, let me show you once let me pause the video so that i can save your time this is the supplementary uh, paper means additional sheet extra sheet that if you want uh, this is for class 12th and it will be coming blue color class 12th blue color and class 10th already you have seen that one so uh, dear children i think you are going to write only for 30 35 marks yes in this examination 35 marks or 40 marks so 10 to 12 questions will be writing i hope the main sheet will be sufficient for you to write the answer and if you want additional you can use also supplementary paper now this is the very important thing that uh, guideline we should follow what are the guidelines that must be followed by the students already one sop guideline released by cbsc and today also one very good seminar and webinar was there for center superintendent of course in my uh, previous video i have de written detail i have de i have explained detail about the duties and responsibility of the center superintendent and uh, invigilators and uh, what are the application will be using for examination and the timing everything i have discussed in my previous video this was completely for center superintendent and this is for school office purpose and this video is only for the students so that is why uh, dear students you must watch this one before going to sit for your term to examination so this is the complete guideline for uh, term to examination and without wasting your time what are the things are permitted and what are the things are not permitted it's mentioned here dear children so you have to carry your admit card and school id card and government photo id and the stationary item like you can see here transparent pouch what are the things are written here you must carry means these are the necessary things you must carry and the prohibited things you don't carry any prohibited things if you are coming under ufm unfair means then if you are booked so you will not be allowed for your cbsc board examination maybe for one year maybe for two years or maybe for three years you may be banned so that is a v be alert and uh, be careful for your uh, examination and see this is the uniform for regular candidates school uniform is mandatory without uniform they will not allow you and for private students you know that any uh, formal dress with what light cloth that is so let me show you the things necessary things that is necessary for you so on the day of the examination these are the timing you must remember by what time you should reach in the campus so you can see my screen here dear children so you can enter into your exam center by 9 am exam center will be open by 9 am so in between 9 to 10 am you can enter into your examination center you can enter into the campus but you will not be allowed to enter into your hall so you will be allowed to enter into your hall by 9 40 9.45 am in the morning and maximum by 10 am you will be allowed to enter into your examination hall and 
after 10 o'clock after 10 o'clock if any student is coming they will not be allowed to enter into the campus the main gate will be closed point to be remember so you must be in the center by what by 10 o'clock means before 10 o'clock you must be there try to be there and before the time so last entry of examination hall by 10 o'clock all of you understand so listen to me your center superintendent your center superintendent will collect the question paper by 9 30 from the custodian where they have to they know the place where to collect the question paper and after that by 10 o'clock the question paper will reach in your examination center so there are some formalities are there center superintendent that invigilator they will finish and the question paper will reach in your hall by latest by 10 or 10 10 10 10 in between 10 10 or 10 15 question paper will come to your hall there what will happen in the presence of two superintendent assistant superintendent i mean invigilator listen in your class 18 students will be sitting in a hall 18 students in one row three three students will be sitting every row three is three students total six columns will be there three columns will be there and six rows total 18 students and remember in one row whatever the question paper will be there that same question paper but don't try to do any dishonest thing in the class because if you are booked once under ufm you know that what will the consequence that is a don't do any dishonest thing in your classroom in your examination hall and uh, in the presence of two invigilators and two students to witness from your class from the candidate they will sign on the paper while the question paper will be open okay sealed question paper will be open and this all these things will be finished by 10 15 so then 10 15 to 10 30 this is the 15 minutes time it is allowed for the students to read the question paper and your examination starts exactly 10 30 so 10 30 your examination will be started and remember by the time 10 o'clock or 9 45 what the time you are reaching in the examination hall so you have to fill the omr sheet first omr sheet that answer sheet you will be getting answer paper that omr you must fill and that must be filled correctly and accurately if any error is there you know your paper evaluation may be disturbed so that is why you must be very careful and that thing between 10 15 your invigilators they will help you they will check the paper uh, if any error they will guide you so don't do anything haphazardly and blindly take the help of the invigilators for omr sheet not the answer sheet not the writing the answer okay this all this process will finish by 10 15 and 10 15 to 10 30 you will be getting 15 minutes time to read the question paper and exactly 10 30 your exam starts and that time you will break the seal and your exam writing will be started and you know the time duration written in the question paper and your exam will continue so don't delay be honest maintain time time maintenance is very important if you are late then you know you cannot you may not uh, get the time uh, to finish all the answers and remember children don't miss any question attend all the questions write all the answers very accurately and honestly don't go for any overwriting your good handwriting neat presentation these are the factors that will provide you good marks now so there are some special things that i want to tell you that last time before submitting the paper keep 10 or 15 minutes in your hand to check if any places you missed something and while you are using for mathematics and science you take your instrument box for diagram pen pencil required things and remember you have to take black or blue ballpoint pen royal blue black pen already given in the instruction and what the instruction given in your hall ticket admit card and in the answer book when you open your answer paper there are also some instructions are written you must read that instruction okay next one more thing so you know covid 19 is not over here so you have to take maximum precautions your mask uh, gloves and social distancing these are the things that you must uh, follow and if you are taking water that water water should be transparent it should not be any what you call different type what the guideline given by uh, cbse for term to examination must be followed so these are the minimum things i had to discuss with you and you must follow that one and uh, th so more detail we will be discussing in the next video and there is a long video previous one for center superintendent and the invigilators i have given all that guidelines that came from cbse so that center superintendent and uh, they must uh, uh, go through that video and that will be helpful for you okay uh, goodbye take care i wish all the best for your examination thank you